Hi everyone, after a long time, I again I resume my YouTube channel. So currently, I can help you by this YouTube channel, how you can automate your programming language and how you can automate your processes by using Apache Airflow, which is ETL automation tool, is we are using for data science and backend engine we are using for Docker and MongoDB, which is NoSQL. We are creating documents and that documents we can integrate with Apache Airflow by the help of Python. Python is currently a trending language. It's a simpler language. Uh, I will guide you step by step how you can do automate your code by using this power tool. So let's start how you can do it. So in this video, I will guide you the introduction of this four. So after upcoming videos, I will guide you each Apache Airflow or Docker or MongoDB and Python, how you can integrate this four at the same time and you can automate your code. So let's start. What is Apache Airflow? So Apache Airflow is nothing but it's an open source workflow management tool which you can using for data engineering. And Apache Airflow majorly using we are scheduling tasks. So task is nothing but it's a Python Python code or maybe any any pass code or SSS code. That one we can automate through Apache Airflow operators. It's like a simple, I will guide you how you can do that one. So there are uh, so many operators are available. So currently I take this five operator only. So upcoming videos, I will explain you practically how we can do that one. Like Python operator, just I'm just simply I just explain you few lines. For Python operators, we are using for automating Python codes. Like you are creating one function and that function you have to call in Python operator. Then there is a command python callable equal to you have to use that method name then it will automate that script bash operator directly you can use bash command by using bash operator and ssh operator you can also use by using ssh command i will guide you how you can do that one and branch python operator it is doing what it is working as a conditional statement if you are using if and else condition you can use that one Email operator as usual while you are sending one email to any recipient person you are using email operator so it will automate that emails by using email operator. Second thing is like docker it's a open source containerizer platform by using this docker there are five major components is there like uh, Apache Airflow scheduler like uh, it is scheduling your DAX. DAX is nothing but whatever Python files you are creating. It is a structure of Apache Airflow code not like same as Python. Like uh, there are few rules and statements are there. I will guide you how you can create a DAG by using Python. Web server is like uh, whatever interface you can see in browser. So that interface, Apache Airflow interface, by using this localhost 8080 port, you can see Apache Airflow web server, uh, web server URL in UI. Airflow worker, worker is doing what? It's executing your task and schedule the task so that web server can show your ta show your DAG in Airflow UI. Airflow init, it's initializing your services whatever services is running under docker postgres uh, it's a default database is available in docker you can use that one or else you can use mongodb mysql it's also supportable and redis it is doing what it is uh, forwarding message from scheduler to worker so for more of you know, these commands and all the details i will guide you upcoming videos MongoDB, it's like uh, it's a source available. It's a document oriented database program. It's nothing but uh, however you are creating JSON files, right? So, streams, same structure, it will support in MySQL, sorry, NoSQL.
so in mongodb it's like uh, simpler you can create one collection collection is nothing but under the under the db you have to create one name which is named as any collection name within that collection you can create one json file json file is nothing but a data as i consider in mongodb so that data you can add in that collection so it will create one document so document is nothing but a data inside the collection so i will guide you how you can integrate with python and apache airflow so now python this is some basic uh, instruction i added here like it's a high level interpreted language you can see in internet also and it's a popular language because of uh, if you compared with java or other language it's a very minimal code you can easily learn that one and you can automate also python scripts and python can be used in creating any web application and automate also application majorly we are using python in data science so i will guide you also how you can do that one and also i will guide you some major component of python it's not like deeply i can explain i can help you how you can easily know the major part of python or how you can automate any programming uh, python programming language by using apache airflow and last point like uh, currently the version python version is 3.10.0 is majorly the new release of python so we can see how we can do by using python so i will guide you so this is the structure of apache airflow so in this video like i just show you the structure of this picture like uh, how the structure of apache airflow and how you can add your python files in apache airflow and how you can automate that one so the first point like in here major part is dot yml file you can see there is a yml file is there there is two yml file these two are so one is celery executor second one is local executor so whatever we can see in docker like uh, web server worker init postgres and redis these all are available in that yml file for starting that yml file we need one docker file so if you are using linux then you can directly using this docker file if you are using windows so there is a docker home is there docker desktop so you have to use that one so i will guide you the next video how you can install docker desktop so you can easily know that one and another one is script so in that script it's a entry point of that docker so it's a connected with that uh, do, uh, entry point dot ss file by using that one it will start your docker by using that one it's a security and dax file is nothing but whatever python file apache airflow python scripts you are developing so that scripts you have to dump there then only it will reflect in airflow ui the configuration file it is nothing but apache airflow dot cfg its extension file so it is the heart of the apache airflow whatever configuration you are modifying right so same thing you have to modify there so github they are using some configuration so upcoming videos i will guide you all the folders and all the details so you can know more idea about it so this is the architecture of apache airflow and docker python and mongodb how all are interconnected with each other so first major part is python so before starting apache airflow we must be install python in our machine so i will add also the description link so you can directly download python also there so second first thing is python python is connected with apache airflow so apache airflow as i explained it's a etl automation tool so its extension is dot py python so apache airflow is uh, coming from python means not coming from python python dot dot extension file is available in apache airflow 
सो अपाचे एयर फ्लो इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग अपाचे एयर फ्लो सो मस्ट बी डॉकर इज देयर सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग विंडोज देन डॉकर डेस्कटॉप मस्ट बी अवेलेबल इन योर मशीन देन ओनली यू कैन स्टार्ट डॉकर देन डॉकर इज कनेक्टेड विथ मैंगो डीबी इट्स नॉट लाइक इट्स नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो आई आई एडेड सो अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट आई डिड आई नीड टू स्टोर एनी क्लाइंट क्रेडेंशियल और एनी डाटा और एनी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल सो आई विल ऐड इन मैंगो डीबी सो डॉकर विल आई आर फ्लो विल हिट टू डॉकर एंड डॉकर विल हिट टू मैंगो डीबी एंड मैंगो डीबी विल वॉट एवर कंसोल इज अवेलेबल इन पाइथन सो इट विल डायरेक्टली कम टू पाइथन कंसोल सो इट मीन्स लाइक पाइथन बाई यूजिंग पाइथन अपाच ए आर फ्लो using their extension and apache airflow for starting phase it's connecting with docker and docker is con- uh, docker is connecting with not mongo db not directly connecting all are interconnected so it's a back end system connecting with mongo db database so mongo db whatever configuration faced by python through apache airflow and docker so that faced by python and printed in uh, python console that's why i added like a circle so everyone can understand like uh, how it's going on so this is the architecture of this py uh, of this video so in upcoming videos i will explain you all installation process like how you can install python with apache airflow then docker mongodb so you can get some more idea about it